which was this uh, first exercise in in your uh, in the list of exercises that i gave last time this finding the longest path in a directed acyclic graph they are given a graph um, and you are guaranteed that it does not contain any cycles and there are weights on the edges and you want to find out the longest uh, path in this graph um, all right so how, what do we memorize on so again you have a you have a graph and and you know that there are no cycles that's all the guarantee you have all right and you are given um that's the two nodes s and t and your goal is to find out uh, a path just can the sum of weights is uh, maximum okay um you you are supposed to give a dynamic programming solution can anyone give me a give me an idea how do we solve this how what do we memorize on sir we can start from t and go back to s and keep on recording the weights and get the maximum uh but there may be multiple uh, ways to get from t to s or s to t right yes sir but, yes sir yes. but we, we can select the one with the maximum weight um but i mean uh, okay probably i missed uh, so you are also so th so these weights can be negative as well okay so for example if i if i pick uh, so let's say this weight is uh, 40 and this weight is 20 and let's say you pick this guy and then let's say this is uh, negative 40 and this is 10 okay so you go through this and uh, and you are stuck right so this will give you zero and this would have been the longer path of length yeah. 30 but it's not always a great idea to actually yes, pick a pick an edge of higher weight um, uh, which is the greedy choice um, all right so all right so what we are going to in, in whatever limited time sir hum topological sorting kar sakte hain yahan pe of course we can yeah sure then what then what do we do after doing the topological sort sir uske baad i think hum usme se max maximum se ke liye nikalna na maximum nikalna longest way longest path hum usme is inke jo distances hain unko memorize kar sakte hain pehle uh all right so here's the here's the solution it's not actually that hard so the thing is um um let's topologically sort them okay so let's say s is somewhere here and t is somewhere here um i'm going to say a of a node vi be the distance uh, the longest longest distance from s okay सो मैं फिर ऐसे ही करूँगा कि मैं जो टी से आगे नोट्स हैं राइट सो आई नो विच नोट्स आर टी के बाद आती हैं राइट सो फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन दिस ए ऑफ वी आई टू बी नेगेटिव इन्फिनिटी ओके विच इज टू से देर इज द लॉन्गेस्ट पैथ फ्रॉम दिस नोट्स टू एस इज सॉरी सो लॉन्गेस्ट पैथ फ्रॉम एस सॉरी फ्रॉम एस नो 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 so longest path to t okay i want to reach t okay the longest path to t um distance for these nodes is negative infinity okay because i can't reach t okay um for t i'm going to keep this zero i know that there are no cycles which means that i can't even if i follow some negative edges i can't uh, come back to t right which means that um that i there is only uh, one way to get to t and that's staying on t um 
for these nodes, this is going to be interesting. And uh, that's, where we, that's where we actually make the solution. And the solution is going to be that uh, this thing, AFVI, is actually um, maximum over few things. Maximum over uh, uh, J in the neighborhood of VI. Okay. So VI ke jitne bhi neighbors hai, wo main dekhunga. Aur usme se I'll follow the one which gives me uh, maximum. And the quantity I am interested in is the weight of edge from I to J. Okay. Plus uh, the entry of VJ. So in essence, what I'm saying is, let's say this is my node D and over here I have some nodes which have some longest paths to many palaces compute curly. Okay. So for all of these, I know what uh, value of A is. Okay. Let's say this is A of uh, X, A of Y. Okay. And over here is my node A, um, my node BI for which I want to compute this quantity. Okay. So what I do is I follow all of its edges or is keeper kuch wait hoga is keeper kuch wait hoga um the longest path from this guy to t is uh, through one of these edges i can't have any other path right so in he may say kisi edge ke through mere jana hai and the longer path would be the one which is equal to the longest path for this node plus this weight the longest path for this node plus this weight the longest path for this node plus whatever weight is on this edge. Okay. So in the new edges message to maximum mujhe deta hai, that's uh, going to be the longest path from node uh, VI. Okay. If I keep doing it, I will ultimately reach some node S for which I'm interested in to find the shortest path, uh, the longest path from 2T. All right. So I memoize, I have this array, this array which, which memoizes the longest distance to t um, and uh, and i recursively define a of vi the longest uh, distance from a to vi as the maximum that can be taken over all of its neighbors and for all of its neighbors i have already computed a of vi's um, does it make sense Um, can anyone um, tell me why I defined for these nodes to say uh, A of A to be negative infinity? Why could I not just keep them zero? As an as an Shakil. As an, can you hear me? Uh as an can't hear me. Uh Sharyan, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. I was just making sure that someone can hear me. Hamza? Can you hear me? The accent isn't in the class. I think he's disconnected. So I can see him and people. Uh, I yes, see. sir. I can see you. Okay. Chalo, tell Why do I keep these? Uh, first of all, do you understand the solution? Uh, some words, sir. Okay. Do you point that you're missing? Uh, no, sir. I was just trying to revise it because I couldn't get it on the first take. Okay, so I repeat it. But first of all, do you see why I kept the uh, distance for the vertices that come after t uh, to be negative infinity? Uh, yes, sir. Why? Uh, because uh, to avoid... Uh... Sir, so that is what you say. Overall, uh, score effect not when you're trying to find the uh, the distance. 
जिस तरह हम जो हमने जब डाइस्ट्रा वगैरह जब पढ़ रहे थे तब हमने इनिशियली जो था उसको इन्फिनिट ही रखते थे एंड देन वी व्हेन वी डिस्कवर्ड इट वी अपडेटेड द डिस्टेंस राइट राइट ठीक है ओके सो पीपल द प्रॉब्लम इज के आई कैन हैव इट्स पॉसिबल के आई हैव फॉर सम ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स इज और इवन एस आई हैव एजेस विच गो अक्रॉस टी टी से गुजर के आगे चले जाते हैं राइट तो इट्स पॉसिबल कि इन एजेस के ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा वेट हो ओके दैट्स वन मिलियन है तो फिर मेरे रिकर्सिव सोल्यूशन के मुताबिक मेरा जो सोल्यूशन की वैल्यू होगी वो इस वेट की वैल्यू होगी प्लस वट एवर इज इन हेयर ओके अगर ये जीरो है तो फिर आई वुड पेक वन ऑफ दीज एजेस बिकॉज इसका वेट बहुत ज्यादा होगा राइट सो आई वॉन्ट टू आई मीन आई कॉन्ट चेंज दीज वेट्स जो एजेस के ऊपर वेट्स हैं वो तो रहेंगे सो बट इफ आई कुड सम हाउ चेंज दीज वैल्यूज फॉर द वर्सिस जो टी के बाद आते हैं तो आई विल मेक द ओवरऑल क्वान्टिटी वेरी स्मॉल ओके इफ दिस इज अज नंबर दिस इज अज नेगेटिव नंबर नेगेटिव इन्फिनिटी के आस पास कहीं पर है तो फिर ये जो क्वान्टिटी है पूरी ये पूरी क्वान्टिटी कम हो जाएगी विच मीन्स दैट आई आई विल नॉट पिक एनी ऑफ दीज दीज एजेस इस तरह के एज को पिक करने का मुझे कोई फायदा नहीं होगा विच मीन्स दैट आई विल इग्नोर ऑल सच एजेस सोल्यूशन को कंस्ट्रक्ट करते हुए right so once again let me repeat what we did humne ye kiya ke in the in the beginning we the we sort our uh, vertices by topological sort and now we know that all the edges go from left to right and um, s is uh, a vertex somewhere here and d is some vertex here and we define our solution to be um to be the longest distance of a vertex to d okay For for the vertices which come after t, uh, that's negative infinity, um, and for the for value t, this is zero, and for these vertices, जो t से directly connected हैं, उसकी value would be the weight of that edge, okay? Because this quantity would be zero for t, right? और जो से पिछले वाली vertices हैं, उसके लिए this would be the weight of that edge plus the distance of that vertex to t, which may have multiple edges in between. Okay, um, so 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 there is this optimal substructure. If I know the longest path um, from the neighbors of S to T, then all I need to do is pick the neighbor of S which gives me maximum for S. Okay, so once again, if so, let's say this is S, and uh, let's say these are three neighbors of S, and uh, T is somewhere here. and i know the longest path for each one of them okay in tino ke liye mere paas longest path hai to phir all i need to do is ke in weights ko on longest paths mein maine jama karna hai aur wo pick karna hai jo isme se maximum hai and that's it that's all i need to do okay so i memorize on uh, avi's which is the distance um to t longest distance to t and uh, i recursively uh, or dynamic programmingly uh, computed for s and um, who is going to tell me the complexity of this? ahmed harun ahmed harun where are these idiots yaar inko absent to mark karo can you hear me sir yaar Yes, sir. I can hear you. I mark them out, sir. Perfect. Ahmed, go there. Don't check out. In go. Manur, is Manur there? Manur, I mean. Okay. Can you talk? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. So I want the complexity of this algorithm. Um. Can you quickly repeat the algorithm? Sir, uh, I'm not very sure about this, but like we first sorted these uh, weights according in the topology. First applied the topology to sort. Okay. Then I was able to understand till the point where we added the weight of uh, all these edges uh, with the current distance. Okay. But I actually lost it in the last step. I couldn't understand that entire. All right. 
Okay. Okay. If you don't understand, you are supposed to speak up. How am I going to know that you don't understand it? Anyhow. Okay. So, uh, is Fatma here? Fatma Nasir. Fatma Nasir. Gulrez. Gulrez Nadim. Yes, sir. I'm here. Gulrez, complexity of this algorithm. Um, no, I don't know that. Not sure about the complexity. Okay. Do you understand the algorithm? Uh, pretty sure I do. Okay. Um, okay. What's the so complexity of topological sort? I uh, don't know that either. Okay, okay. Thank you, Grace. Sir, can I guess? Who is it? Uh, um, okay, Bolo. Sir, is it linear time? Yeah, we just do topological sort. Uske baad we don't do anything. We, humne, uh, we go to each vertex and uske neighbors ko dekhte hue uska weight update karte hain. Aur uske neighbors kitne hain? Uske neighbor utne hi hain jitne edges hain aapki graph mein. Okay? The total number of edges in your graph is equal to the sum of the number of neighbors for each uh, vertex. So this was the first problem on the homework that I showed you last Wednesday. You guys were supposed to how how are you going to learn dynamic programming? Um um if if um, you're not going to spend time on this. All right. Um, I don't know. I can't emphasize more. Okay, guys, please do dynamic programming. This is going to be a major portion of your uh, exam if we get to it. Um, but your quizzes are going to feature uh, dynamic programming anyway, right? So do these, do these exercises, okay? If you don't understand, you have a TA, you send me an email, you have a WhatsApp group, Okay, so you have multiple ways to interact. Um, so, so bug us, okay? So bug us whenever you need us, okay? But you, you have to, you have to take the initiative and do it, okay? Um, so once again, to repeat the algorithm, uh, we start with doing the topological sort. That was, uh, that was sort of an initialization uh, step. It's not part of dynamic programming. And at the second step, um, we define a i's to be the distances, the longest distance of uh, to for the vertices which come after t, we define it to be negative infinity. Uh, for the vertex t itself, we define it to be zero. For the vertices which come before t, uh, in the topological sort, we define it recursively. And the recursive definition is. Uh, that for each vertex you pick uh, pick a neighbor for which uh, the quantity uh, in this equation gives you maximum value. Okay, so let me write it down again. It's getting messy. So for each vertex, the quantity w i j plus uh, a of j, ye jahan pe bhi maximize ho rahi We will pick that neighbor. That's uh, that's it. So we pick the maximum over all of its neighbors. Um, and that's it. Once you have this equation, you have the algorithm. Um, uh, and uh, and your, uh, your, uh, you, you return the value for this, uh, this array, which is at, uh, at vertex S, because you were supposed to give me the longest path, uh, longest path distance from S to D. All right, and the complexity of this algorithm is just number of vertices plus number of edges. We do two topological sort. Topological sort can be done in linear time. We did it a couple of weeks back. Um, we, we uh, after doing that, 